I think I'm gonna make another video because it's been 24 hours and I just miss you guys so much. This is so unhealthy. Let's talk about zero tolerance policy. Let me explain for those of you who don't know what zero tolerance policy means we're too fucking lazy to address social issues on a teen level in school. That's what it is. That's what it means. For example, you're sitting on a bench. It's recess. You're eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's delicious. Okay? Like, this is the shit. This is your life right now. You go home, you do homework, you just put up with shit because your parents drink and they're gonna get a divorce. You go to school, f***ing fakes and teachers being assholes, and then you sit down on a bench and you, you get to have your little sandwich. And it's yours, and you're eating it and you're happy. And then all of a sudden this motherfucker comes walking in with a, a wallet chain, a jersey of a team that he doesn't even fucking support. Yo, man, I want your sandwich. Nah, man, I don't, I don't know you. Well, I don't like what you're saying. Well, that's too bad. That's too bad for you, huh? And then he punches you in the face. Clocks you a new one, a new face. You're like, oh, what the fuck? Right? You fend yourself off and you and you get in a fight with him and then you go to the office and you have to explain the situation. You're like, well, I was eating a sandwich and this guy came up. My name's Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel. He punched me first. I was sitting down. I was enjoying a beautiful evening. It was self- Defense and the prosecutor aka whoever's working at the schools listening to the story and like oh, self-defense I don't know the meaning of the word and she actually doesn't that's why she works at a school and not in a court of law And then before you know it you're both busted you are as equally guilty as Gabriel which is ironic because Gabriel was the right-hand man of God and he and he threw a punch at somebody for a fucking sandwich that's kind of fucked up, you know, to name your kid after the right-hand man of the creator of the universe. And he does shit like this. That is unex- I am choosing a different religion now. That's right, I was Christian. But now I'm Protestant. I don't know what that was, but it makes me feel strangely feminine. So the reason why zero tolerance policy is bullshit is because if you apply that same idea to the world, society falls apart. Zero tolerance policy is bullshit. Let's say you graduated high school, you have a shitty 9 to 5 job, but your favorite part of the day, lunch. You're sitting on a bench, it's a courtyard, and you're eating your favorite, favorite, favorite food, your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mmm, a classic. One of your coworkers comes by, he doesn't like you. Hey, great job on the project. Thanks, and then BAM! He punches you in the face! And then he just breaks your nose clean off of your face! And then he takes a knife out, and he stabs you! Ugh! Like since happening in slow-mo. Which is the worst moment to experience in slow-mo. A stabbing! Why can't a kisses happen in slow-mo? Kisses are like fucking machine gun slob things. At least that's how my girlfriend described me. And you're on the floor, and you're bloodied, and he runs off, and he's like, ha 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 ha! So the paramedics and police finally arrive, right? And he's taking down notes like, what happened, sir? What happened? And you're like, I was sitting on a bench. As you're saying that, the cop is taking out his cuffs. And before you know it, your hands are behind your back in handcuffs. What's going on? And the officer is saying, sir, you are being arrested for being a part of an assault. But I was assaulted. I was stabbed. Sir, let me put it this way. If you weren't stabbed, would there still be a stabbing? And then you're in jail. And hopefully you can afford bail. Zero tolerance policy is bullshit. Now, why do I bring this up? In high school, well, I was sitting on a bench. 